Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Stacy and today we are going to be painting prompt two for Inktober and it is a spider. Uh, I went literal and I, the well it's spiders with an S, but one is enough. I mean, really, one's always more than enough. Um, I decided to go in with some of the darks. This is the, um, uh, whoopsie, winter night mixed with a little bit of the, oh, oh, um, orca and a touch of blue in the background. And then I decided to go ahead and dry it because I didn't want my spider, um, colors to bleed into the background. Uh, always dry between your layers. It helps with control. And I'm going in with the pumpkin spice, which has become one of my absolute favorite paints in this set. It has a little, it has mica in it, so it's iridescent. And uh, uh, it just, I just really love that color so much. I think I've tried to use it in every painting I've done so far with these paints. <laughs> I'm gonna have to see if I can get it in um in a tube because I already have quite the divot in the top of it. I'm just blocking in all of the spider's um parts with the base color with that um pumpkin spice base color, skipping over where I know I'm gonna put a darker color um here pretty shortly. I'm just painting in all the legs. He is you know how spiders dangle from that one thread. They're coming and they slowly lower themselves. That's what what he's doing. He's lowering himself from probably the ceiling or a light fixture or something. You know, just to the right angle where you walk right into him. <laughs> I actually walked into a spider web two days ago. Um, I was going to my car and my daughter and I parked next to each other and the spider managed to put his web between our cars so I walked right into it <laughs> so it's like the last place you expect to have a spider web is between two cars um, I'm getting in I'm using the uh, I don't remember what color I'm using right here oh I'm using wet bear because it's um or wet grizzly is the name of it uh, it's dark enough but it also has mica in it to um I thought at the time to give me the the dark dark that I wanted uh, but it dries quite a bit lighter uh, it does layer up nicely though I just did a, a painting where I, I had to layer it up and it, it layers really nicely and you can get a nice deep dark brown that's still slightly um, iridescent and get his little legs in make him all happy and I love painting and drawing bugs, so this was super fun for me. And his body, I wanted it to have a little bit of sparkle and shine. So I'm going around where I drew in all of his little speckle spots. Um, he did have a bit of shine in the reference photo, but he was different colors. Um, I, I used that uh, pumpkin spice color instead of um, like a brown because he's a brown spider because I wanted him to shine. Artist prerogative. You don't have to paint things the, the true color that they are. You can do whatever you want. Getting in a little bit of dark shadows on that his little bottom part. And then trying to get the shadow in between where the light is hitting that leg that's overlapping his body. And then this little head in there is kind of behind his, his forelegs a little bit. So we're not going to see all of that. This is like my third or fourth in-depth study of a spider. And I really love how it turned out at the in the end. I decided that the 
the background wasn't quite as dark enough. He wasn't really popping off the page um, the way I wanted him to. So I decided to go in uh, darker. So I'm getting more of that um, orca color, which is up in the corner of the palette. And it's, it's a blue-black kind of color. And um, just darkening in the... Uh, the background a little bit more. I really want him to pop, but I also wanted him to feel like he was coming down from a dark space, like a dark area where the light wasn't on or he's com coming down from a corner. And then I'm using the, the iridescent white for the web, for his little string of web that, that's coming down, that he's hanging from. And last minute I decided he needed a, ink work. Uh, I wasn't going to um, do all these tiny details with paint. I can. I just didn't want to. So I got my mica pens out. They're waterproof, water resistant. Um, India ink. So they're also um, going to last a long time if you're worried about that kind of thing. I'm going to go in and get in the dark darks first. None of his markings were dark enough for me. I didn't want to obliterate the golden brown. I just wanted it to stand out more. And then he he had fine little hairs all over him. So I wanted to make sure that that was conveyed. Yeah, and it turned out cool. I like how it turned out. That's all the inking. I did a little, little time jump there. Because I, I spent quite a bit of time inking him in. And now I'm going in and putting in a little more shine in all of his little spots. Because I feel like now that we've got the dark on, we can make that shine just a bit more bright. There we go. I think it looks super cool. I'm getting a little bit more shadows. And now I'm going in with the iridescent white and giving him a little sparkle. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like spiders? Do you like painting and drawing bugs and and critters? You know, something people don't normally think to draw and paint. And then take off our tape. Yeah, he turned out cool. I'm cleaning up my edge a little bit. This paint picks up really nicely. Let me know what you think in the comments below, you guys. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.